Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. Yeah, a damp start to the day here, and we still have those showers continuing to fall. Here's that stretch uh, from northern Vermont all the way through central and southern Vermont from that rain. It's coming down pretty good in some of those locations. Not as bad in northern New York. Finally, a little relief from them. Let's zoom in on a couple of these little pockets here uh, in Franklin and uh, and Orleans counties in northern Vermont. Certainly going to get some steady and heavy rain at the moment right now. Irisburg, Glover stretching on door towards Hardwick and St. Jay got some downpours falling there. Came Cambridge, Bolton looking like at least some steady moderate showers falling there in Pittsford or Pittsfield rather getting some downpours as well and headed towards 89 for Orange County. So yeah, a lot of rain this morning and now into the afternoon hours. It becomes lighter and spottier as the day goes on here as these showers push out. This is right ahead of a cold front and it is of course a little drier behind that. And we should start to even see a little bit of sunshine later this evening with just a few lingering showers through late tonight. Temperatures have also climbed nicely into the upper 40s for some parts of our area. Burlington feeling great at 47, although it is very damp. 43 in Plattsburgh. Temperatures are possibly getting closer to that 50 mark as that southerly wind ahead of the front continues. Not bad at the moment. Sustained at 17 miles per hour in Burlington right now. That again is out of the south, pulling in some more of that warmer air. You're seeing a shift in the wind to the west, though, and that is already going to start to cool off some of our northern areas a little bit earlier than the rest of us. So for the next couple of hours, your nuisance icon is there, but we've upgraded it to the alert icon. That's the red one throughout the rest of the evening because as that wind picks up, it could become very, very strong, producing some damage to trees, power lines, and that's where we're going to be watching that carefully throughout the rest of the afternoon. These are sustained winds near 10 or rather 20 to 30 miles per hour, and we will eventually see gusts that are even stronger than that. With that also comes a cool down. Temperatures will drop overnight tonight as that wind shifts a little bit. High wind warning in place for northern New York, parts of New Hampshire, southern Vermont for winds that could gust up to 60 miles per hour in those places. Again, damage is possible with some of those gusts. They're going to be scattered and also an advisor for the rest of Vermont for gusts that could be up to 50 miles per hour. So everyone's looking at a very windy evening here. Here are those wind gusts or at least potential gusts towards this evening. Again, 40, 50 plus miles per hour. That's the orange spots are the ones that we're watching here. There it is dying down a little bit for tomorrow. It's still going to be a breezy Thursday and it's going to be a lot cooler. There's your dry up tonight. Maybe some spotty showers in the mountains at the most here with even some sun in between and plenty of that sun on Thursday. However, it's going to be pretty cold out there, especially with the wind. Let's go into Friday morning dry at first, but the mid morning hours and afternoon hours will bring snow turning to rain. Not looking at a ton of accumulation of that in our valley areas, maybe a couple of inches, not necessarily a lot of that sticking, especially with some rain falling and our temperatures climbing a little bit. But we've got that nuisance icon in place again for that potential that it could be a little bit messy out. Today is definitely the day to watch though with that wind. Tomorrow I mentioned it's a lot cooler. We're going to have some sun, but the wind is going to be blowing drier over the weekend after Friday's system, but it's going to still be pretty chilly out.